Welcome to Walking with the Word, the Bible in 365. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day in your precious word. I thank you, Lord, that you bring it to us, that we can understand it by the power of your spirit. You are holy and you are worthy of all praise, all of our words, all of our lives. You are worthy. We love you, Lord Jesus, and we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today we are reading Numbers 32 and John 14. Numbers 32. Now the people of Reuben and the people of Gad had a very great number of livestock, and they saw the land of Jazer and the land of Gilead, and behold, the place was a place for livestock. So the people of Gad and the people of Reuben came and said to Moses and to Eleazar, the priest, and to the chiefs of the congregation, Ataroth, Dibion, Jazer, Nimrah, Heshbon, Elilo, Seban, Nebo, and Bowen. The land that the Lord struck down before the congregation of Israel is a land for livestock, and your servants have livestock. And they said, if we have found favor in your sight, let this land be given to your servants for a possession. Do not take us across the Jordan. But Moses said to the people of Gad and to the people of Reuben, shall your brothers go to war while you sit here? Why will you discourage the heart of the people of Israel from going over into the land that the Lord has given them? Your fathers did this when I sent them from Kadesh Barnea to see the land. For when they went up to the valley of Essachol and saw the land, they discouraged the heart of the people of Israel from going into the land that the Lord had given them. And the Lord's anger was kindled on that day. And he swore saying, surely none of the men who came up out of Egypt from 20 years old and upward shall see the land that I swore to give to Abraham, to Isaac and to Jacob because they have not wholly followed me. None except Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite and Joshua, the son of Nun for they have wholly followed the Lord. And the Lord's anger was kindled against Israel. And he made them wander in the wilderness 40 years until all the generation that had done evil in the sight of the Lord was gone. And behold, you have risen in your father's place, a brood of sinful men to increase still more the fierce anger of the Lord against Israel. For if you turn away from following him, he will again abandon them in the wilderness and you will destroy all this people. Then they came near to him and said, we will build sheepfolds here for our livestock and cities for our little ones, but we will take up arms ready to go before the people of Israel until we have brought them to their place. And our little ones shall live in the fortified cities because of the inhabitants of the land. We will not return to our homes until each of the people of Israel has gained his inheritance. For we will not inherit with them on the other side of the Jordan and beyond because our inheritance has come to us on this side of the Jordan to the east. So Moses said to them, if you will do this, if you will take up arms, to go before the Lord for the war. And every armed man of you will pass over the Jordan before the Lord until he has driven out his enemies from before him. And this land is subdued before the Lord. Then after that, you shall return and be free of obligation to the Lord and to Israel. And this land shall be your possession before the Lord. But if you will not do so, behold, you have sinned against the Lord and be sure your sin will find you out. Build cities for your little ones and folds for your sheep and do what you have promised. And the people of Gad and the people of Reuben said to Moses, your servants will do as my Lord commands. Our little ones, our wives, our livestock, and our cattle shall remain there in the cities of Gilead. But your servants will pass over every man who is armed for war before the Lord to battle as my Lord orders. So Moses gave the command concerning them to Eleazar, the priest, the son of Joshua of Nun, and to the heads of the father's houses of the tribes of the people of Israel. And Moses said to them, if the people of Gad and the people of Reuben, every man who is armed to battle before the Lord will pass with you over the Jordan and the land shall be subdued before you. Then you shall give them the land of Gilead for a possession. However, if they will not pass over with you armed, they shall have possessions among you in the land of Canaan. And the people of Gad and the people of Reuben answered, what the Lord has said to your servants, we will do. We will pass over armed before the Lord into the land of Canaan and the possession of our inheritance shall remain with us beyond the Jordan. And Moses gave to them the people of Gad and the people of Reuben 
and the half-tribe of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, the kingdom of Sihon, the king of the Amorites, and the kingdom of Og, the king of Bashan, the land of its cities with their territories, the cities of the land throughout the country. And the people of Gad built Dibon, Atoroth, Aror, Athron, Shelphon, Jazer, Jogbaheh, Beth Nimrah, Beth Haran, fortified cities and folds for sheep. And the people of Reuben built Heshbon, Alelo, Kerathium, Nebo, Baalmoon. Their names were changed, and Sibma. And they gave other names to the cities that they built. And the sons of Machir and the sons of Manasseh went to Gilead and captured it and dispossessed the Amorites who were in it. And Moses gave Gilead and Machir the son of Manasseh, and he settled in it. And Jair, the son of Manasseh, went and captured their villages and called them Havoth Jer. And Noba went and captured Kenath and its villages and called it Noba after his own name. John 14, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and I will take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also. And you know the way to where I'm going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and you still do not know me? Philip, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe on account of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do, and greater works than these will he do, because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him or knows him. You know me, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Yet a little while, the world will see me no more, but you will see me because I live. You also will live. In that day, you will know that I am in my Father and you in me and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and he will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. He will teach you all things and will bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away and I will come to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced because I am going to the Father and the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place so that when it does take place, you may believe. I will know longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no claim on me, but I do as my Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us go from here.